one common turn in many of the NFPA standards is the authority having jurisdiction. And they define it as an organization, office, or individual responsible for enforcing the requirements of a code or a standard or for approving equipment, materials, or an installation or a procedure. And this comes up many times. And the, the authority is there can be, in fact, in a lot of projects, many people with an interest in that project. But for the normal garden type project, a fire protection system installation, I would say that the first fundamental thing is to find out what agency is responsible for doing the plan review and the approval of the installation. And in most jurisdictions, that might be a local community building department or building regulatory agency. In some unincorporated, un in rural areas, for example, it might be a county building authority or building department. Some states, it may be a state agency. And this will vary depending on what kind of property that you might be working with. For example, if you were working on a federal project, it might be at the federal level. It could be somebody from the Government Services Administration, for example. It could be uh, at a military, could be somebody from the Corps of Engineers. Uh, it, there are all kinds of different people. So you have to identify where and who you have to send your permit and your plans to in order to get your approval process for the installation and then who's gonna come do the final acceptance. In some cases, a project might be multifaceted, for example, in a highly protected risk insurance type situation, say maybe you have a factory mutual insured facility, where actually the insurer might be part of the authority having jurisdiction. So the term has a, a reference, but it could also be very encompassing. It could be many agencies involved. You might have a building department as well as a fire official who may be involved in that project as well. So we've looked at the definition of NFPA and what they consider an authority having jurisdiction. In reality, the authority having jurisdiction can be very simple or it could be very complex. It could be more than one agency. Um, so the starting point should be who is the regulatory agency that you have to apply to, obtain permits for the installation, get your plans approved, and actually call for your final testing and inspection. And in most jurisdictions, it's gonna be a, a municipal building department some cases it might be a countywide building agency or authority. Um, if you're working on a state property, for example, it might be a state regulatory building agency. Some uh, very rural uh, states that are, uh, don't have dense population centers might have a statewide building regulatory agency. So you're gonna have to identify who that agency is that's gonna be part of your installation and approval process. If you were to get into the federal level, uh, for example, do work on a GSA, controlled building, government services administration, like a federal building or something, it could be that you would have not only them looking at your, uh, your installation, but you might also have others at lower levels looking at the installation. So while the term seems pretty simple, it can oftentimes be multifaceted.